just some news as we're heading up into the matches. Uh, the board has announced that the expansion to the youth and training facilities was completed. Unfortunately, they did take a loan out of $34 million. Uh, I don't think it's triggered here yet, but that'll be another loan that we will be dealing with. So just wanted to let you know. But if we do take a look at the club info, so we are now superb four and a half star training and two and a half star youth facilities, which is average. So I would continue trying to build those, but being this is our last season, I don't see the point. And we will be back in just a minute for the matches. <laughs> Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 55 of FM20, our Forest Green save. So we played a few matches. We had a nil-nil draw with Norwich, a 4-1 defeat to Newcastle, uh, Ids with our lone goal, Sean Longstaff with a hat trick for Newcastle, and then a 1-1 draw with Southampton, our only goal came on an own goal, so that didn't bode well. Uh, kind of got some critique about our tactic here. Strangely enough, we started off well, but we have dropped some, some games. But we're only supposed to be trying to avoid relegation, right? But the fans were on me, so I changed my tactic back to the... From the, four, uh, the flat four in the midfield to the one... Uh, to the four midfielders, but dropping one of the central mids back to a de more defensive midfielder. We got the 1-1 draw there. And we're playing West Ham and Man United today. The Man United game was in that time slot, but it got moved a day or two up or back. I don't know which uh, due to something else happening. I, I saw the email and, you know, those things happen probably due to the uh, fact that we're playing in Bristol City Stadium, right? I'm really disappointed we aren't going to get to see our stadium, but that is what it is. So we are on the road today. We are underdogs once again, both clubs in inconsistent form, and we have, well, neither team has ever won a game against the other. All draws. You can see we are on eight points, but we have fallen down into the relegation battle. Uh, you know, it's it's very close. I mean, only four points separate 8th and 18th, so it's not like we're really out of sorts here. Uh, let's see, Ids and Nunez, Clark, Fisher, Mitchell, want to make that move. All right, so we're going to go with Gerard at the back, Sirkin, Cash, Dara Bayo and Bellotti on the back line. Mitchell, Henderson, Berg, and Fisher in the midfield. Berg back from that injury. Nunez and Ids up top. Let's see if we can get it done. As you can see, we've dropped Berg back into that ball-winning midfielder position. <clears throat> More of a deep-lying uh, defender. Just somebody else back there for us. Trying to solidify things. If at all possible. All right, some good ball movement here on the early highlight. Mitchell makes a big move into the box to the touchline and puts it into the side netting. It was a good drive by him, but, you know, at some point you've got to play that ball back in. I'm wondering from a tactical perspective, uh, Matty Cash looks like he picked up a bruised shin. And Gerard was just caught out of position. And Philip Coutinho with the goal. That's, yeah, back post, got through everybody. We're going to have to demand a little more out of these guys. Gerard is immediately anxious and down to a 6.4 rating. Cash has now picked up a yellow card. Good steal by Fisher into the box, and nothing on that. Nothing at all. From a tactical perspective, I'm wondering if there's any way... Let me pause it here so we can kind of talk about it, because maybe you can help me out. 
How Mitchell drove in on that earlier highlight, is there any way that we can force him to drop a ball back into this area here and have one of our two strikers in a in a in a position that would cause him to drop back to pick up those kind of balls? I don't know if there is or not. I was thinking about that yesterday and um was just wondering how one would go about setting that up. Nunez with a nice ball over the top, good control, but a big save by the keeper. That keeps us from equalizing. And it looks like that was sent out. Another corner for us. Fisher plays near post again, and there is a great ball by Ids, his fifth of the season, as he puts it in from the edge of the box. And you see where he shot from right back here. That's kind of where I would like those guys to drop back to, if possible, but on an attack by the winger. I don't know that I've ever seen anybody do that consistently with balls back in, I don't know. Ryan Fisher has lost the ball more than anybody else. We do need to talk to the guys about their yellow cards. Let's ask for some more creativity here in the early going. And our creativity brings up a West Ham highlight. Uh, Mitchell, why didn't you just control that ball? Sirkin controls it, plays it up to midfield. It is a turnover. Coming right back. Rosinha. A little block there by the defender. Good job. Ids takes the outlet pass. Play it through. No, he lays it off. I think there was going to be an offsides there had he played it ahead. All the way back to Gerard Gives us a chance to reset. All right, there's a good ball out. Nunez controls it, cuts inside, and he goes to the right foot, plays it around the keeper, and that's a brilliant goal. Fifth goal of the season by Nunez. Uh, we'll give him some praise on that with the two-goal turnaround. Liking that. Uh, looks like we've got a bruised ankle. Tell you what, we're almost to the 60th minute. Let's go ahead and sub these guys out. So we'll bring Pavlovich in, and Berg will bring Uwajan in for him. Gets a couple of injuries out of there for us. All right, I am going to pop into Tactics. We're going to have the keeper slow the pace down. You know, that's been my go-to thing here in the latter stages of FM20. Let's tell him to tighten up. Let's do a time-wasting sub. Maybe Fisher. Let's bring Clark on. Let's see if we can get out of here with some points. No highlights. I'm perfectly fine with that to pick up the three. And that vaults us all the way back up into 10th position. Early days, it's, uh, it's amazing how far three points go, right? <laughs> Liverpool hammer Burnley. Forest Green in control as the hammers are brushed aside. Bruised ankle for Berg, one to three days, one to three days for Cash. At least it's not his groin. Uh, shots on target, not too good. I'm not going to congratulate that. It does end a seven-match unbeaten, uh, seven-match winless run. But if you look at that, four of the seven we took points from. That's, that's kind of good. In our position, we'd like to take more if we want to repeat last year's overachievement, but you can't do that every year. All right, we'll be back for Man City in the Carabao Cup in just a second. 
couple of bits of uh, news I want to share with you. Well, you know, I like to welcome new subscribers. So about a week ago, just Jeff, JST Jeff, uh, joined the channel. Welcome. Uh, Chris Golden, also five days ago. Welcome, Chris. And we just had a new person join, and that was a, a historical figure, Genghis Khan's mom. So welcome Genghis Khan's mom to the channel. Uh, big fan of uh, his uh, raping and pillaging uh, back in uh, ancient times. So uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, obviously still kicking around. She's had a long, uh, healthy life, right? <laughs> but anyway, welcome you guys to the channel uh, and ladies as the case may be. Also, um, I just wanted to give a big thank you to... Um, to the viewers, to all of you guys, uh, 88 views on my RC Reacts video yesterday for uh, the Leeds Aston Villa match. And uh, that is, I believe, an all time high view record for any of my football content, be it football manager, reaction videos. Uh, or anything else. The only things that have gotten more than that are some of my um, how-to videos for Skyrim or uh, some mod reviews or anything like that. But 88 views in 24 hours, just blown away. So hopefully, uh, hopefully with that kind of eyes on the channel, that shows that people are at least coming by the channel and looking around. So that's good, and hopefully some of uh, you people that have watched the RC Reacts videos for Leeds United uh, are, you know, will carry over into my Football Manager content. I hope, uh, especially as we move into FM21. So, all right, well we're playing Man City today. We do have a selection issue that um, Fisher is not uh, eligible because uh, this is his parent club. Uh, we have won one and drawn two against Man City, so we have fared pretty well against this top-sided team, right? We have done very well against them. I don't know if I want Marinov out there. La Quintana is who I would like there. Matty Cash. I'm going to go ahead and put Cash on here and La Quintana out there. And then that is going to leave me Marinov. And I'm going to pull him on in place of Collins. Sorry, buddy. Uh, Albie Morgan has not played at all. He is very unhappy and did not show up for training. So we had to chastise him. I am wondering. Yeah, I really, I really want this pairing in there. That's that's who I want in there. And where is Wharton? Wharton is actually back to health. Can we bring him on for... Can I bring him on in place of Kamara? I think so. Let's go ahead and do that. See if we can get the boys fired up here. We'll ask for our early creativity, of course. Well, there's a dangerous ball out to the edge of the box, but a good save. They pick up the first shot. It is on target. Bernardo plays it into the center. Back out to Bernardo in the corner. Oh, and he beats the man. Oh, near post and Gerard with a huge save. That was a stellar save. Full extension. Good header. Way to get it out. Way to get it out. Some solid defense in there. Let's ask for some more creativity. We're not getting much in the way of uh, the ball. Looks like Mitchell was uh, chastised there a little bit. Over the top, that's dangerous, and a big save and tackled out of play for a corner. That was probably a good play by the back line player, by the defender, because that could have been, there could have been a rebound shot there. Oh, good defense. 
taken up the right flank by a center back, you need to probably get rid of that ball. <laughs> just, just a guess, and that was not a great job there. All right, we restart that. Bring it back, and nothing develops out of it. Sirkin, Mitchell, into Berg. Berg, what the hell was that? Tackled away. Of course, it goes right to another Man City player. That's just how FM20 works. Ooh, and that one goes wide of the mark, thankfully. Man. Berg is not performing to the expectations that I have for him. Bernardo, Leonardo. Oh, there was no way that they could stop Sartori's second attempt as he picks up his second goal of the season. Looks like it went off the defender once right back to him. What kind of luck is that? Because, you know, we don't have that kind of luck. Look, he kicked it. It went into the two guys and came right back to him in space. Nothing we could have done there. Nothing we could have done there. All right, well, we're not playing well. So we have lost possession. Let's, uh, let's condense our line. We're already regrouping, and we've got that turned off. Let's sympathize with them as the assistant manager suggests. We'll ask him to calm down. Completely open on the flank. Crossed into the middle. Oh, good tackle. No, come on. No, they called a penalty. There was no way. He had all ball on that. He was in front of him, got the ball. That's... That's not good. All right, we're going to have to go up to balanced. All right, there's a nice interception. Headed in, and oh, where are you at, La Quintana? You should have been on that back post. All right, let's take a look here. Um, Ids is not playing well. Wonder why he's grayed out. Anybody know the reason for that? I don't, he's, he hasn't been subbed. Nunez. Let's bring Marinov in. Patrick Berg. Let's bring in, uh, Uwajan for him. We don't want him really playing the ball a lot. He's, he's a good distributor, good passer. But that's all we want out of him. Let's, uh, let's demand more. That's going to be ugly. Mitchell's going to be sent off. That could be a red card. Yep, straight red for Mitchell. Thanks, Mitchell. Appreciate you doing that. All right. I think what we're going to do... You can move over there. Is that what I want to do? No, let's do that one. He's he's a little bit better. Uh, we are going to make him a central mid on attack. Make him an advanced forward on attack. Actually, let's make him a pressing forward on attack. And then Henderson, we're going to make a deep lying playmaker on defend. Let's make you guys support. All right. If they're support, then I can maybe bomb these guys forward. Let's do that. That'll put more players on the attack. Oh, goodness.
I didn't think about taking Mitchell off because he didn't get carded on that previous one. Look at that. We had the ball there and just not anything on the ball on the defense. Oh, caught out of position there. Pinged up into the stands. Let's ask for some passion now. Yeah, I don't think there's any way we come back from this being a man down. I think any time that we've, you know, even though we've done well, we've always kept it real close. Oh, that was kind of like uh, Patrick Banford's goal yesterday against Villa, his first one. They had the shot, the keeper made the save, but it deflected, and Bamford was at the back post, just like this guy, uh, for an easy touch in. All right, let's just encourage him now. And I'd like to just get to the locker room at this point. All right, well, that was a brutal loss. But it is what it is. It was disappointing. And Mitchell is going to miss a few games. We'll see if he gets additional match suspensions, but we will find him the two weeks. And that puts us out of the Carabao Cup. But we were only supposed to reach the fourth round. So we're good there. And you know what? Let's come back for Lester and Swansea. I think that'll be good because we've already seen, you know, I don't want to come back that quick. We've already seen Man City and Aston Villa and Palace. And I don't really want to skip that many games heading through into the, you know, tail end of the season because we want to have a few episodes to make sure we have uh as long as we can here in our last season. So, yep, Leicester and Swansea will be our next ones uh, in a way and a home match. Neither one on TV, which is okay. Currently sitting just under mid-table on 11 points. And for those of you keeping score at home, Ids and Nunez, five goals each in 11 appearances. Marinov, only one in 11. He's been struggling. Mitchell's got one in nine after his good year last year. And La Quintana, no goals and no assist. He's been struggling as well. Berg, I mean, we don't have any assist in the midfield whatsoever. I mean, Mitchell's got two. See, I just don't know where I would play him as a starter. I mean, coffee, nothing. Berg, nothing. Oh, you know what? Let's check our keepers. One more, uh, that was one thing I wanted to check. So no mauve, four starts, four goals allowed, one clean sheet. Gerard, six starts, seven allowed, two clean sheets. Playing a six, six, eight. He's playing a six, nine, five. I don't know. I think maybe I need to put no mauve back in just because he's playing better in form. Passing is pretty even, 77 to 74. He has he has made a lot more saves. Again, I think if we were playing longer term, Nomov would be my guy this year, and Gerard I would be building for the future, but we'll see. All right, well, anyway, hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about today. And, uh, hey, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a new episode. Take care. Bye.